everybody, this is Chris with CNM Aquatics. I ordered a Griffin Coral Saw, diamond coated band saw to cut corals with. I did a lot of research between the Griffins and the Inland Saws, and I decided to go with the Griffin uh, basically because every coral farm, every aquarium shop I've been in, they're using the Griffin Saw. So I figured there has to be a reason. So I ordered it and figured I'd give it a shot. Now, when I went to order it, nobody had it in stock. I checked on Amazon, all free supply, all the major online vendors, and nobody had it. So I went straight to Griffin's website, which is www.griffincorp.com, and called them and found out that they actually build them to order, so they don't have a bunch of saws just sitting there ready to go. You actually have to wait for them to build it. And it wasn't too bad. It only took about a week and a half from the beginning of the build to get the saw, which was pretty good, I thought. And shipping was only $9. So it was $4.40 for the saw and $9 for shipping for a total of $4.49. I'll do another video on actually cutting coral and then we'll see. We'll do a review and see how that goes. But the saw itself was packaged pretty good. You can see the motor here. I was surprised when I took this out of the box how sturdy it actually felt. There's there's a decent amount of weight to it. The switch doesn't feel loose. The, the main drive wheel is tight. The, the overall build quality on the motor head here feels pretty solid. Got some papers, some instructions. There is, I'd say, minor assembly on the saw. It's not completely put together. Here's the main body. Came with a blade, diamond coated 42 inch blade. It was nicely packaged in its own tin disc. Sponges, our blade guides. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Just line them up, slide them in. It slides right into place and you've got your adjustment screw on the bottom. That screw is actually how you're going to adjust the tension for the band when we put the, the saw blade on. That'll raise the whole motor head up and down and tighten or give you slack on the blade here. So pop the motor cover off. Now when you, here's your upper blade guide and make sure the groove is facing out and you just slide it in to the holder and it'll kind of snap into place. The instructions that came with the saw. I had a hard time trying to figure out where this thing went, but there you go. Took me about 10 minutes to figure out where that thing went. The sponges that came with it, one goes on top right here above the water reservoir. That's going to clean the blade as it comes up out of the bottom. Then there's two grooves, they're hard to see, under the drive wheel on the bottom and the sponge just slides right under that wheel so the blade gets cleaned again as it goes around and the bottom sponge helps with splash back. The instructions did say when opening the, the blade from the packaging here try not to bend it or drop it. 
almost dropped it here. Getting the blade on the saw was a little trickier than I thought it was going to be. I had trouble keeping it on both wheels while adjusting the tension. So after doing it a few times, the easiest way I found it was bring the top motor all the way down, your adjustment all the way down, and put it on the bottom wheel first. And after it's seated on the bottom wheel, then slide it over the top wheel and you're going to hold it on the top as you adjust the adjustment screw up and then that'll hold tension onto the the saw band Yeah, see, it, it keeps popping off because I'm not adjusting the screw. After messing with it for a while, take out the sponge. Don't put the sponge in under the wheel on the bottom. You can take the lower guide off, and that really gives you a lot more room to work in the bottom of the saw. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, bottom sponge is out, lower guide is off. Put the blade on the bottom wheel, then you can slide it over the top wheel. Then you adjust your tension up, and it'll hold it onto both. I did read in the instructions, if you get your saw, make sure you read the instructions from Griffin. The bottom wheel is set per the factory and they say you probably won't ever have to adjust that now was one of the first things I did was mess with that screw right here and when I turned the saw on I had a hard time keeping that band on the bottom wheel because I I skewed the bottom wheel so I had to spend like 40 minutes trying to adjust that bottom wheel to keep the blade on so at first don't touch that bottom adjustment on that wheel it's factory set and you shouldn't have to only mess with it if you got a problem. So after you get the blade back on and the tension set, you can go ahead and put your bottom sponge back in. And you can put your bottom blade guard on. There you go. I keep messing with that bottom wheel adjustment don't do that unless you have to just don't mess with it I finally get it where it needs to be but you want the blade to ride towards the back of the drive wheels slide on the cover Check the blade one more time. And once I fill it with water, we should be ready to cut some coral. Well, thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. I am starting a new series on coral propagation, so leave me a comment below if you have a certain species of coral that you want to see fragged and, and how to do it. Thanks again.